Welcome to What's a Project. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to projects. You'll get to know what projects are used for, what makes up a project, and how projects differ between the different JIRA products. Finally, we'll show you how to get to your project and get around within your project. You've no doubt already worked on some projects. You've worked with a team on tasks to achieve something. Maybe your team created a new mobile app, launched a new marketing campaign, or resolved customers' problems. You could manage these projects by using email, multiple systems to keep track of things, and endless meetings and phone calls, but that wastes everyone's time. Instead, Jira projects give you one place for your team to work together to manage your work. JIRA projects represent your real-life projects, and just as there are different types of projects in the real world, there are different types of projects in JIRA. All projects in JIRA have tasks and a process these tasks follow from creation to completion. A task is simply a piece of work. For example, I need to order t-shirts for our new marketing campaign. In JIRA, Tasks are called issues and are managed in projects. And every issue belongs to just one project. To get project issues done, you need a work process. This is the sequence of steps done in order to reach a particular end. Your process could be as simple as to do, in progress, and done. Take for example our t-shirt order. First this issue needs to be started, then it's being worked on so it's in progress, and finally, when the order is complete, the issue in JIRA is done. In JIRA, this work process is called a workflow. Every project has at least one workflow that the project issues must follow to complete. In addition to issues and workflow, each type of project aims to achieve different results so they give you different ways to look at issues and project information. Let's revisit our users from the previous tutorial for each JIRA application and see their projects. Hi, it's Kevin again. My software development team is using the Teams in Space project for the new mobile app we're developing. Here you can see the issues we're working on this sprint. I've been working on this story. Now I'm done, so I'll send it for code review, and once it passes, the issue's closed and I'm done. It's a pretty typical development workflow. In our project, I can also see the backlog of issues and the status of the version on the releases page. Hi, this is Caroline. My IT support team is using the IT Service Desk project to manage our internal customer problems and service requests. Here you see all the issues that haven't been assigned to a support engineer in the unassigned queue. I'm monitoring incidents, so I'll go find that queue and look at this new incident. I need to respond to the customer and give them the solution, and once they've confirmed it resolves their problem, I can close the issue, and I'm done. Our workflow is pretty straightforward. In our project, I can also see the list of customers that can use our service desk, as well as reports. Hi. It's Lewis. My marketing team is using the Koala Uprising campaign project to track our issues for this campaign. On our project board, we can see all of our issues. We can see the status of issues, whether they've been started, are in progress, under review, or are done. And our workflow is simple. In our project, I can also see a list of our issues. For a specific issue, I can see details displayed on the right. I can also see reports. Each of the project types comes with a few different templates that give you what you need for your projects. Here we'll look at the most common ones.
Agility projects are software projects with an easy simplified board. The Agility board gives you a clean, uncluttered view of your team's work and is good for teams that are new to Agile. These types of projects will be developing over time. Projects have permissions to regulate who has access to the project and what they can do in the project. For example, your JIRA administrator may have set up your project so your team members can assign themselves issues to work on, but no one outside the team can. All team members in any JIRA project are set up with the appropriate permissions for just that project so they can do their work. To access a project from the JIRA menu, you click Projects, then the project you want to go to. Once in a project, you can always go to another one by using the project drop-down. Your project may look different from the Scrum software project, but every project type has a project sidebar. This is how you navigate to different parts of a project. Here you see the backlog page. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. What are the takeaways here? JIRA projects are a single place for your team to work together to manage your project tasks. All JIRA projects have issues, which are the project tasks, and workflow, which is the work process all tasks must go through to completion. Each type of project gives you different ways to look at issues and project information. What you can see and do in a project depends on your project permissions. If you'd like a project to practice in, you could ask your JIRA administrator to create a project with sample data. Take some time to apply what you've learned in your own project. Open your instance of JIRA and go to one of your projects. View some of the issues in the project. Does your project have boards? Does your project have queues? Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.